out on assignment tonight. Weather reporter Colette Kennedy is, of course, out in the cold for us tonight. She is in Thornhill. <laughs> yeah. And Colette, I can see in the background there why you're there. Tell everybody else why you're out in Thornhill tonight. Oh, yeah, I'd be happy to, Chris. I mean, you know, we are all trying to find things that we can do in the midst of a pandemic safely with the family. And boy, oh, boy, this is something. As you mentioned, I'm in Thornhill. I'm on Wild Cherry Lane. Now, remember that. Write that down, folks. You're going to want to know Wild Cherry Lane. And this is where they have this brilliant display of holiday lights. And in fact, it's all choreographed to music. But you can just drive through slowly in your car, tune in your car radio, and hear the music as the lights do their show for you. It's absolutely amazing. It's warming my heart, even if my toes are a little bit cool. Let's talk about those temperatures that we are seeing. I guess it'll make it feel a little wintry. Perfect to come to Wild Cherry Lane and take a look at these lights. You know, when I come back a little bit later in the show, Chris, I'm going to talk to, I mean, it takes a small village here to do all of this, <laughs> but talk to kind of the main mastermind behind it, how many lights are here and uh, what it costs, but also they're doing this for charity. So more on that coming up, Chris. And nobody minds those cold toes when you're warming hearts across the GTA. Love it, Colette. We'll check back with you soon. Exactly. Sounds good. Hey there, Chris. Yes, I'm in Thornhill on Wild Cherry Lane where this brilliant holiday light show is on and you can come here safely with your family and check it out. Do you want to get in touch with your inner Clark Griswold? We'll find out how they do all this and do it for charity coming up when CBC Toronto News continues. I'm really glad too, yes, and I'm glad that, you know, it's a little cool out here, but not that bad, and especially when you have all of this, these holiday lights. I'm here in Thornhill, Wild Cherry Lane, where this beautiful display is here that you can come visit with your family. It's choreographed to music. You just tune your radio in. We're going to talk more about this, like how they put this all together, how many lights are here, what it costs, and how they're raising money for charity in just a moment. Is this something you've dreamed about doing, you know? Clark Griswold, is that somebody you admire? Well, I'm going to talk to Wild Cherry Lane's version right now. This is Martin Lindsay. Martin, thanks for joining us. Okay, first of all, where did you get the idea for this? Started when I was really young, really little, 10 years old, putting up lights on my parents' house. It's a really big show there. I moved into here many years later, and um, um, after I had kids, started the show up again. Just started gradually in about 2018. So how many neighbors now? You've got seven, I believe, that are involved. How many lights do we have here? So seven neighbors. We have seven properties all in a row, which is really cool. And we got up to, a, we just reached 100,000 lights last week. And you do this for charity. It's free. It's something you can bring the family to and do, and it's safe, and you're in the safety of your car. Some folks get out and walk, but you ask for a donation, right? Absolutely. So it's a free show. You can come drive down here, bring your kids, park, get out, walk along the street, check it out. Um, great event to do that. And we definitely are accepting charities at a charity box at the curb where you can donate for two local charities. One is uh, Yellow Brick House and the other one is the Markham Food Bank. And there's a way to do that, by the way. You don't have to have cash. They've got a website and we'll give you that in just a moment. It takes a lot of time to do this and a lot of people. I, I want to, one of your neighbors, Derek, to come in to just get his cameo right now because he's part of the small village. How long? You started back after Halloween, right? Yeah, so the day after Halloween, Derek and I, we start getting all the lights out, start putting them on the houses, try to get as much as we can done before the weather gets really cold. And this year was the first that we've ever put lights up in shorts and t-shirts because it was some beautiful days in November. Yeah, we um, had that wonderful run in November. Yeah. One final question. Those who dream of doing this, I think everybody wonders, what does it cost? They're LED lights, so it's not so bad, and it's choreographed, so they're not on all the time. That's true. So people ask the biggest question is how much electricity does it use? It's like cooking three turkeys at once in an oven. Um, that gives you an idea of how much electricity it uses. But really, most of the, the cost and the work is, is setting it up and building the controllers and syncing it all together and getting it all computerized. That's really where it all comes in. Awesome. Thanks, Martin. Thanks, Derek, as well. So if you do want to do this, there's some ideas how. And if you just want to enjoy it, Wild Cherry Lane. And it, the website is wildcherrylights.com. And I was digging Chris. in our archives. They have been doing this for years. Such great work that those guys have done there in Thornhill. Thanks so much, Colin. Yeah, they... Oh, you're welcome, Chris. He started at his family's home and then moved it here. That's right.
One last check for you now with uh, our trooper, Colette, out there in the cold. More than anything, Colette, I'm just curious, how are your toes doing? <laughs> you know what, Chris, I've been doing the little gingerbread man dance to kind of keep them going. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, well, you have to come down to this wonderful holiday light show and you'll see the gingerbread man that dance in the window as part of the display. It's amazing. Again, we're on Wild Cherry Lane in Thornhill, Wild Cherry lights.com for the hours of when the display is on and best times to come and also the charities they're trying to support as well markham food bank and yellow brick house chris absolutely love it and i love that it's all for a good cause as well thank you so much colette and thank you for joining You're us welcome. i want a little dance to send you <laughs> to to send you goodbye and that's our show for you tonight and for the week thank you so much for watching we leave you with pictures of this spectacular light show in Thornhill. This is on Wild Cherry Lane, the beautiful display choreographed to music, and you don't even have to get out of your car. You can listen in on your car radio. Some festive and safe holiday fun. Have a great weekend, everyone.